Okay, just kind of curious about something. If we had taken this whole, but what about all people kind of stance during the past 20 years, how would we have gay marriage now? How would we have allowed gay people into the military? How would that have occurred if you can't talk about any group of people without being told, well, what about all people? How would we have stopped, how would we have reduced the number of gay bashings if we weren't able to just at least talk about the fact that there are a lot of gay bashings and it affects gay people in a really terrible way. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, in relation to laws made about it, I'm just talking about just talking about it, getting the subject out in the open. So maybe there could be a different cultural attitude about it. Yeah, how, how would that have happened if we couldn't talk about gay people? Well, you know, all, all we should talk negatively about all bashings because violence is wrong. Yeah, nice virtue signaling. Oh, violence is wrong. Yes, yes, such... <laughs> you're really standing up for, for something major by saying violence is wrong. Sure. Uh, most violence is wrong. Sometimes there are, there are situations where it might not be that wrong, like in self-defense, right? Someone's beating the crap out of you, and you turn around and, and beat the crap out of them, you know? Or you defend yourself and try to get away. But, you know, there are obviously times where violence... You couldn't make some declaration to say violence is wrong. But, you know... <laughs> since, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and some of these same people will make claims, you know, up, talk about taxes, right? And they'll they'll try to get people. Well, think about the 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 poor rich people who get taxed more. They're they they have a gun pointed at their head because they have they have to pay taxes and they have to pay a higher taxes. And that's just terrible. That hurts them so badly. <laughs> um. <laughs> What's funny is with the way this sort of thing ends up being going on between the right and the left is Again, and I've talked about this before, but I, I think it's important to mention again. Um, those that are on the left will usually use statistics to try to help people. If they, if they gather statistics about groups of people, then it's all about trying to find a way to help people, trying to make things better for people. And on the right, you have them using, if they, they find statistics about people, they'll use those statistics to demonize a whole group of people. You need to change. We're just going to keep demonizing you until you change. That seems to be the answer. Let's shame you into changing. Well, the left will, will tend to actually try to put things in action to try to make people's lives better but then some people get upset well well you're not giving me those benefits it's like well you're not having this problem typically if you come to the government individually and try to bring your case individually yeah you should be able to do to get help on an individual level on things that that uh that you're dealing with you know, and maybe that sort of thing needs to be discussed more as far as making sure that the government is able to look at individual cases just as much as it's able to look at demographical cases. You know, I'll give you that. But to cut out the demographical thing altogether, I mean, like I said, I mean, would I be able to get married if we never talked about uh, gays being able to get married. If you tried to say, well, let's expand marriage, 
Well, nothing will ever change then. It has to be kind of one step at a time. Now, maybe after a certain period of time, we realize, oh, well, I guess we really should open this up. But if you try to say that before before society's ready for it, you will never have change. There, there's no chance that there would be change. Would women have gotten the right to vote if we wouldn't have talk, t uh, talked about women? I, I, would we be able to have uh, interracial marriage if we wouldn't have been able to talk about how that affects different races? Would we have been able to... Like, anti-discrimination policies. You know, where some of that even stemmed from, the ideas of that stemmed from primarily how black people had been treated hasn't been a lot most of the other races haven't had nearly as many problems as black people have when it comes to this sort of thing and it's at that point where the republicans will say we'll we'll see they're just it's it's time to point the fingers at at them and and say that well you know uh it's their problem let's demonize them let's make them look bad well, they were given all these chances, and they, they, they ruined it. Always trying to avoid making a statement that they think that uh, black people are less intelligent. And that black people uh, can't handle our culture. Without ever saying that directly. We wouldn't have so many of the rights, different groups wouldn't have so many of the rights that they have, which would later expand into everyone having the rights that they have and different social attitudes without being able to break people, without talking about problems that different groups deal with. You know, as I've said before, if, if, if there, is a, there are specific problems that someone deals with as a straight, white, cisgender male, if there's specific things to fitting into that demographic that are giving you troubles, talk about them. Put it out in the open. Stop complaining about other people doing that. Do that yourself. Talk about these things yourself. But if your only complaint is, well, well, it, it, it's it, we're, we're, we're being uh, 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 outnumbered, we're going to be outnumbered, and the mindset it, 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 towards uh, you know, our way of thinking, it's, we're going to be outnumbered, it's white genocide. <laughs> fucking whiny little piece of shit. Sorry, anyone who says that shit, you know, fucking whiny ass piece of shit. I'm not saying everyone who, who, who says some of the stuff I said earlier has that kind of conclusion, but to the ones that do, you fucking whiny little piece of shit. Boo-hoo, there's people other than me that, that might be getting more, more of a population in this country. Boo-hoo! <laughs> Pathetic. And then you all want to point at Muslims. As if most Muslims want some sort of terror. Well, well, you know, uh, uh, look at the statistics. They they think that uh, uh, a large percentage of them think this about gay people. Okay, do they do anything about it? Are they g g bashing gay people? Who who are the people that you see b b bashing gay? What what have typically been the people who bash gay people the most? Certainly in in Western first world countries. So don't give don't start bringing up these other countries. I'm talking about these first world countries, right? What is the largest demographic? Oh, I know, I'm talking about demographics. What's the largest demographic that beats, that has done gay bashings in these countries, in, in first world countries? Guess what? It's Abrahamic religions based on the Bible. People who have Abrahamic religions based on the Bible. And if you were to ask people, uh, you know, to state their honest view, they know it's anonymous. 
you'll find that a large percentage of Christians still think that being gay is wrong. And they'll say, you know, hate the sin, uh, love, love the sinner. <laughs> so don't give me that shit. Most Muslims, whether they, whether they wear their little stupid little looking little veil or not, like some Jewish people wear that stupid looking hat, like some Christians feel it absolutely necessary to show that their cross has to be somewhere on them so you can always see it. No matter you know, what garb someone is wearing, as long as you can see their face, And they're trying to just live their lives here. But no, let's demonize them because look, look at all these terrorists were Muslim. So let's demonize them, let's stop them from coming in and out of the country because, be, be, because uh, 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 Muslims uh, might, might uh, cause terror. Now there are some parts of Europe where I could see people becoming concerned. I can I, I can understand that. So before anyone gets on my case for that, I, you know, I can get that. But not here in the states. Not here in the states. Here in the United States we have some extra advantages where people can say, well, I'm African-American, I'm Christian-American, I'm Muslim-American, I'm uh, Italian-American, I'm, you know, Spanish-American, whatever, right? Um, we can always add this, you know, hyphen American to it, and it's just like, hey, we're, we're all here, we may come from different cultures, but we're all here together. And we have, a, that's, a, that's kind of an advantage that a lot of other places don't have. Or at least they don't utilize the possibility of having that as part of the language. But uh, but yeah, people will will demonize, uh, completely demonize the Muslims, and therefore, um, I guess I don't know where I'm going now. I was I was trying to go somewhere with that and relate it to something I said earlier, and I've kind of forgotten what I said earlier. <laughs> so, and I don't want to make this one of those heavily edited videos, so sorry for wasting some of your time. <laughs>